Hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. When last we left off, we traveled through Huntsman's Cops and talked to Creighton, who as you see, once you rest at a bonfire, he just leaves. So he's gone. No more Creighton. That's fine though. He was a bit of a dick. Creighton and Pate pretty much deserve each other. I have actually changed my room setup a little bit. So, oh shit. So I'm in a different room, so the audio might sound different. It's not even that I changed my room setup, it's just that I just moved to a different room in my house. Moved my computer to, and my PlayStation 4 and everything, all my gaming systems basically, to a room that was away from my bedroom. Mostly because I just, over the last few months I've just decided that I wanted to have my gaming situation and my sleeping situation separate just so one wouldn't interfere with the other oh I'm fucking up alright so I'm using a shield versus these guys because their wep they do surprisingly large amount of damage for being just mook guys it's also because I am using unupgraded not the greatest armor this armor looks nice for like fashion souls but it's not the greatest armor and I have not upgraded my vitality at all just because it's just the always the last thing I upgrade I think I'm gonna switch this spear for, no the falchion for a little bit and just have some fun with curve swords okay so we're not gonna go forward anymore right here and the reason is because there's something that occurs later in the game, and we missed a, sl a pathway up here. There's like a thing that's going to happen that would be very hard if we didn't go up here first. Here you see there is right there. I don't believe that my bow is upgraded enough to kill this thing. But we're going to give it a go. I did kill it. All right. And then, the reason I stopped right there is, if you just run forward to try to kill that guy, all these, like, slightly camoed green guys jump out and start trying to just, like, fuck you relatively hard. Alright, so we took him out, and now we gotta pick up everything. A p ten poison throwing knives, those are very useful. Three regular throwing knives, what's in here? A Titanite Shard, a large Titanite Shard, and a Titanite Chunk. Titanite Chunk is very useful. There's an Archer right there. So I'm going to jump down, kill this Archer, and then... I shouldn't have jumped that distance. I'm going to walk, see, invaded by Dark Spirit, Merciless Rowena. So we're going to run like giant babies... all the way back here this is an NPC invasion so it happens no matter what and we're gonna fight her in this arena type area this circle area she will come running eventually there she is see her she's using a scythe a little weird shield she's got an ugly mask on she has really low poise, so what we're going to try to do is just keep our uh, our um, stamina up so that we can burst her down without taking much stamina damage ourselves. Without taking much damage ourselves, because her poise is low enough. See, so yeah, we just overpower her with two-handed attacks, and she's vanquished. Okay, I picked up a human effigy. See, I when you if you instead of just falling off that cliff like I did, if you jump there, you don't take any damage. But I just fell down because I was gonna try to do a plunging attack on the archer, but it just didn't work out. And here we have a boss door. But before we go to that boss door, we're gonna go this way. Well, wow, the water is super loud. Although, to be fair, waterfalls are very loud. And what I'm gonna use this area for is to test how much weapons, how much damage, I'm sorry, my weapons do on skeletons. 
So that one's looking pretty okay. Oh, they do comparable. Da no. Without well, hit a shield, they do comparable damage. So I'm actually. I could use either one. Oh! No, that was bad. I died. I should have waited till he cast his spell. I forgot. I'd never seen it happen previously, but I forgot that, like, for some reason during this playthrough, when I get hit by a spell, I just, like, stop midair for my jumps. So I got hit by that spell and just fell to my death. That's fine, though. We're not going to get invaded again by Merciless Rowena, so we don't have to go up and clear the top area like we did. That invasion doesn't happen all the time. Jesus, arrows coming from nowhere. This is why I don't like archers in this game. I've mentioned. I don't want to harp on about it too much. Alright. A throwing knife. Three throwing knives. Actually, I'm picking up bundles of throwing knives. Just oodles and boodles of throwing knives. Oh Jesus! All right, I'm I'm gonna stick with using life gems because I want my Estus flask for the the next boss fight that's coming up because it is annoying. So I went across the bridge this time to fight these skeletons in here. This is a slightly different area. Oh God, Curse Jar! I forgot that Curse Jar was right there. And then we gotta kill this ugly guy. What that does when you kill him is he's, if you don't kill them, the skeletons, like in Dark Souls 1 they had sort of the same mechanic, but the skeletons in this game will just respawn infinitely. Alright. So if you kill the, the dude, the ugly dudes, they, they drop pretty good stats, but it's a really rare drop rate, but the mostly what they do is they stop the skeletons from respawning. Okay, another curse jar. I just roll through them. It oh, magic mace. That's not extremely useful. And then this is just the undead lock away. Yeah. See, they re they spawn once, but since that necromancer is dead, they don't just they actually give you souls when you come later. Just fall over and then reform. Okay, I believe there's a lever I have to pull on the other side of this yeah yeah you can see it from here can you yeah it's right there so this I can't get through that door yet so I gotta go back across the walkway lever lever I don't know I say lever but I guess you could say lever oh shit I thought I was blocking Because I am going more quality build, and you do get bonus strength for wielding weapons in two hands, it's actually a pretty big trade-off for amount of damage I lose for take putting my sword in a single hand. Rogue gauntlets, not exceptionally useful. There are some gauntlets, gauntlet type items that have like useful abilities on them. Because, I don't know why, like, I know there's specifically one you'll see relatively soon. That gives you more souls when you kill stuff, and then there's some that gives you better item drop rate. There's a full suit of armor that gives better drop rate, but I don't have it. Alright. So now we're back over here. Oh, I just forgot to jump! This is doing super bad at these jumps today. Jesus. You have died. I'm going to try this one more time, and then I'm just going to quit. There's n there's actually no reason to do this. The area that I'm trying to do, it just completionist in me. Like, it doesn't change the boss fight. I forgot you existed. It's too busy talking. It doesn't change the boss fight. I already picked up the magic mace. There's one spell that I'll miss if I don't go down the hallway. But since I'm not using magic, it doesn't really matter. You... Alright. 
Well, I guess I can kill them with one well-timed R2, so I might be doing that instead of two R1s. She just... Okay. Block. Oh, those ones have slightly more hit points, but still. Right. Give it a go, come on. Fight me! Alright. See, that item right there is the main item you need to pick up. I could do some goofiness and try to grab it, but I'm not going to. Okay. I'm going to come at this in a slightly more controlled manner. I'm going to pull the skeletons to me, kill them, and then go out there, dodge a spell. What the fuck? Where did you come from? You fucking pissant. Alright, sorry. Lost my temper at Dark Souls enemy. This weapon is pretty good at staggering the skeletons. See, they didn't give me any souls. So what I'm going to try to do, first I got to pick up my souls. I think I lost some, but it doesn't matter. Is wait. I'm going to go around this way, actually. This jump right here is easier. Yeah, he's raising the zombies. The zombies. The skeletons. So. There we go. Fuck you. You're dead. They don't respawn either. The skeletons do, though. wonder how stupid they are. Are they going to run over here and fall down? Nope. I'm using the R2 because it staggers them pretty well. Oh, I'm fucking up. I'm carrying a shield, but I'm not blocking as much as I should be. There we go. That's the exit, so we want to go this way. The item we would have missed is this. Combustion and Titanite Shard. A fl three flame butterflies. That guy's just like completely oblivious. And we're gonna pull this lever, and then we're gonna go rest at this bonfire. I'm gonna use a human effigy, rest at the bonfire, and then run through here, run through this like skeleton gauntlet, and then go to the boss fight. Cause I love skeleton gauntlets. Don't actually love skeleton gauntlets. I'm going to rest here, then use the thing, though. The reason I did that is because it respawns all the enemies, so they're no longer chasing me. So I'm going to use another human effigy in preparation for the boss fight. I'm going through them really quickly, like wasting human effigies. I've used three so far. But you get so many that it's really not a problem. So I am going to pull out the falchion for the starting of this fight. The boss fight. So we got to maintain our stamina. I swear I was blocking. But I accidentally jumped instead. So what we're going to do right here. Is as we run we're going to. Nom nom on a life gym. Switch to the Estus flask and go through the door. Skeletons are gonna come running, but it's fine. And now we're in a boss fight. This boss fight is slightly tricky for one single reason. And that is that it's a multiple enemy boss fight. The actual bosses themselves have very little hit points as you can see. But what we want to do is focus one down because of a stupid mechanic that you'll see in a little bit. As you see, that wasn't one third of the hit points on the boss bar. 
And you're like, what the fuck? Does one of them just have a bunch of hit points? Oh no, when they die, what happens? What is this bullshit? What's happening? Oh no, skeletons are spawning. This bullshit. So now it's actually a boss fight versus multiple creatures, and you just gotta. It's all about managing where you're being attacked from. Taking hits when you have to, but doling out the damage too. See, I'm using these, like, sick little pillar things to try to block damages when I can. He was blocking, but he was only blocking with his sword. See, the, the bosses don't even really do that much damage. The whole point thing about this boss fight that a lot of people do, because of how few hit points the bosses have, is they rush down the, all the bosses at once, and then they have to deal with... Each one of these things spawns four different... Four of a certain type of skeleton. And it's okay... To kill the first two really fast and fight those skeletons. The problem comes... When you, if you try to kill all three of them. And you'll see why in a moment. There's a Dark Souls 1 enemy gonna make a reappearance. And it's one of the most annoying Dark Souls 1 enemies. I'm gonna sit on my Radiant Life Gems. But not use them. But not use it until after I take a hit from this guy. Because I think I might. I, I didn't. And now we're gonna have to fight. Annoying asshole pinwheel skeletons. Luckily I was really close to two of them when they spawned. So... Oh, I was close to all of them. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, shit. So, the fact that I was in that corner made that boss fight way easy. I guess all the real skeletons just spawned right next to me. So, yeah. Did it. See, that boss fight, it's not very hard. It's just about... In enemy management. Shit, the walk up to the boss fight. More dangerous than the actual boss fight. I'm not sure if there's items around here. I don't believe there is, so I'm just going to run past. If there is, though, and I missed them, oops. They weren't important enough for me to remember. And here, I'm going to unequip my radiant life gems and equip poison moss and a couple of poison curing items I believe those are the only ones I actually have yeah and that resists I'm gonna do my fruit too I did I do have some souls to go cash in on I think I might run to go to Majula and do that at the next bonfire I want to check my equipment statuses right now, actually. Plus four, plus five. What is my spear at? Plus three. So I need large shards for that. I think I might equip this spear over the falchion, but I don't know. Maybe. Eh. I want to see how many shards I have. Okay, so I have one large titanite shard and six regular shards. I might start upgrading my equipment. See, this ladder is broken. You can't actually climb back up it. So once you jump down into this pit, you're locked in. Except the fact that there's a bonfire right there. So you can teleport out of there. And here's a, a, a girl. What's your name? Are you a traveler? I am. I'm Cloanne. An ore stone trader. That's cool. Do you have stones then? Can I buy some? About collecting rare stones, which I sell to me. Oh, you, I can buy some. Excellent. I never planned to visit this god's forsaken place. But I don't know. I just sort of ended up here. Sorry, drinking my morning Red Bull. I must have just wandered in. <laughs> you don't know what's happening either. Here. I've been scouting around for rare bits. Sounds I like something people do. Like that. Many of these stones are quite useful. For instance, certain stones are used in smithing. That's cool. Ah, oh, now your ears prick up. <laughs> 
I've extras if you can pay. This is my trade after all. She's carrying us a head. Not even a stone, just a head. Okay, so right now she only has tight night shards and a bonfire aesthetic. I'm not actually gonna buy those. She has a couple of spells, a hex and a miracle. Soul of peace, I don't remember what that does. One of the lost miracles is preserved only in the undead crypt. Inflicts heavy damage on mindless hollows, but has no effect on anything else. The undead crypt is a place of rest for the living. Those afflicted by the curse can only pray to one day gain entrance. And then dead again. Wait, no. Hex that casts a dark flame upon corpses, causing them to combust violently. Hexes such as these that tamper with life itself are particularly abhorred. That, it's not very useful. I don't need to buy any of their stuff yet. I'm going to talk to her one more time. I came here in search of rare stones, but... The place is nothing like I was told. All this poison, and you can't get very far inside. That sucks. Don't just go haplessly wandering about. Do I seem hapless These to you? These stones may look all the same, but to the trained eye, each is unique. That's not at all true. Some of them are used to smith weapons. If you actually look at them, they don't look Some anything alike. Provide special benefits. She said that in a really, really vexing manner. Used with great thrift. Special benefits. None of the differences are easily spotted. But I've learned quite a lot, really. <laughs> Drang Lake. I'm talking to her because she'll go to Majula if you talk to her long enough. It's funny. I can't uh oh, one of those. You can't remember what's happening. I've searched every nook and cranny here. See, this is the one that gets her to move. Perhaps we'll meet again if we live that long. <laughs> I believe that was the last conversation I should let me check. Yeah, yeah, alright. I suppose it's about time I moved shop. Alright, so because we're close to the bonfire, this poison right here, if it gets on your clothes, it still keeps poisoning you, which is slightly annoying. You see, it's on my feet. They're green. Oh god, I went through it. But I gotta light this bonfire. Slightly annoying that this bonfire actually inflicts, st inflicts status damage on you, but we're in the poison valleys, so... though. Prisoner's waste cloth. Alright. So I don't believe I had enough souls to really upgrade any... I mean, enough... Uh, uh, stones to upgrade my items at all. So... I'm gonna go see what Marlin's doing over here. Does he have anything new? I don't believe he does. I'm just... You need armor? Go ahead. Looking at his ar armor offerings, see if I want to buy something else. He has the this set, but eh, it's not extremely useful. Nah, we're gonna stick with what sure? we got. Yeah, I'm sure. See, there's Cl Clarin now. She moved in. Oh, fan speak up if you need anything at all. All right. So if you talk through the lore, she is this dude's daughter. This guy, the smith. The one that he says is always flitting about. But they never go and have a conversation. She comes to town. She's sitting like 14 feet from him. And they never go have a conversation. It's a really annoying problem a lot of people have with the game. Alright. Oh wait. I forgot to level up. I'm stupid. First I want to also check and see. Do I have something to burn in the bonfire? I do not. I don't have any extra slash shards either. I thought there was one in the husband's cops. Bearer of the curse. Seek oh shit, you can skip this. Alright. A little bit more adaptability. And Hmm one more point in dexterity. Alright, there we go. There is an area that I missed. 
that I haven't actually done yet that I'm going to try to do. I don't like it, though. And it is, like, a, cons a time-consuming area, so I might wait. I might not do it. I might, I, I, when I say I might wait, what I mean is I might just skip the fucking area. But we're going to give it one go and see how we like it. I'm going to equip my S-Stock back. It was just the area I walked past because it's easier to do the uh, Undead Lords first. I believe that's the name of that boss fight that I did that was super easy. Shit. Stupid archer. Alright, got him. I actually have to unequip this stuff then because it's not useful for the next area. These are... Alright, so now we gotta fight this asshole. Not extremely powerful, but annoying because his weapon does dark damage, so you can't block it efficiently with your shield. And he does stagger some of his attacks, so he's slightly annoying to fight if you're just trying to dodge. Oh, I almost missed you. Green, green guy. Look at my brother. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> A notched whip. That's very useful dex weapon if you're going to be playing a whip build but I'm not so okay so we're going to use our bow here to pull oh no nope. this guy jumps down he saw me I missed so I guess it didn't fix bleeding. Whoa! Yeah, fuck you. Damn it. Oh shit! I forgot to watch my footing and fell down to the starting zone of the game. Which might mean that that big asshole is gonna come running at me. While I'm over here. You can't just run past all those guys. You don't have to fight them. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Oh shit! Why am I equipping my bow? What's wrong with me? That was stupid. Sorry about that, guys. I'm getting a little bit off kilter. Oh, I went the wrong way. I'm going to fall down on this so I don't take fall damage. So I'm getting a bit thrown off by stuff. This isn't a zone in the game that I like to play. I don't know where that guy went either. The pathing, like, problems. Yeah, he's right there. He could be anywhere, though, because of the pathing problems. Got a backstab off on him, though. That was lucky. I believe this one has a whip. Yeah. The whip ones are annoying, too. Try to get him with an arrow as he runs past. Got him. Backstab. All right. This is the main use for bows in this game. 
the ranged combat isn't good enough to actually like try to fight a dude. Try to fight a nerd with just a bow. Alright, I'm using this stabby weapon right now because it has long enough range for me to get at him. Alright, that one's dead. The reason why I'm fighting all these guys right now is because, you, as I said previously, you can just run past them. But, as we walk, you'll see something on past the bridge. Undead Purgatory, and a dude with a fucking great big ol' sword. This is why I didn't want to run past him all this time, because this guy only spawns once. But the first time you come through here, you gotta deal with this asshole, who, like, does game-breaking fucking combos, where he, like, spins on a 180 with a great sword, just some bullshit your character can never do. Sometimes he commits suicide by rolling off the cliff. See, he, he turned mid-air while jumping. That's some bullshit that's just like... You can't do that. How the, why the fuck can he do it? So I'm trying to get a backstab on him. Nope. He avoided the backstab somehow. And he has really good poise too, so... I might die here. Ooh. This life gem will heal me for a lot of health if I just block and wait. Jesus, not that much though. Motherfucker. There's ridiculous damage. Alright, so I'm gonna run down here a little bit. I don't know how far he comes. But I'm gonna do it so I can use a life gem. Alright. Then I'm gonna run past him. And get back up into the little fighting arena. I think I'm going to switch to the Falchion versus this guy. God damn. Shit. This guy don't fuck around though. If I can get a backstab, I can kill him. I mean, uh, a parry. But it's really annoying timing. I don't even know if you can parry the rolling attacks. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can. Using another Radiant Life Gem. Seems like I'm wasting them, but... Oh, fuck. I did waste them. I didn't actually kill the guy, either. This is why I don't like this zone. It's like, you gotta fight this huge gauntlet. It's only five enemies, but all those enemies are extremely deadly. And I'm just... I've, and I haven't done it that much, because I didn't even know it existed the first two times I beat the game. I just, like, ran right past it without looking. So I'm going to skip it for now. I might come back later. The boss fight in it isn't even that good either. It's probably my least liked boss fight. So I know it's just personal preference, whatever, but... So my poison build up because my clothes is slightly annoying. I am going to refix my inventory again. For poison zone. See, it's still building up because of my clothes. This enemy right here, though, is... You can cheese him because he has no upward ability on his attacks. But it doesn't actually do a lot of damage, so we're not going to be doing that. It's like, I do enjoy being a giant pussy in this game when it's useful to me. But... Since I don't do enough damage whilst being a giant baby... To make it efficient, I'm just going to kill him like like an adult. So we're going to run up in here now. I heard a skeleton spawning. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Then we have... Oh, friend Gavlon! Hey!
See, he just lets you buy from him. So every time you, you meet Gavlon, he disappears from where he's at after you talk to him. And then he, he, he the last time he, uh, you meet him, he stays where he is. Yeah, I go home. Thank you. Oh, no, I went to open the chest. What's in this chest? A raw stone. Not extremely useful, Gavlon, but thank you anyways. So we have just a poison-filled gas pit with a chest inside of it. Fire seed, divine blessing. Nah, not really useful. I could have not went down there. So I'm going to use a life gem because it will counteract the effects of the poison relatively well. As you can see, it's going up at about the same speed that it's going down. Fading soul, not useful. Poison throwing knife. Now I'm going to run up here because my poison is about to go off. Use another life gem and then fight this skeleton. One down. There are there are no summoners here though, so like the skeletons stay dead. Necromancers, I guess they're actually called. The skeletons stay dead after you kill them. Jump to that to avoid poison buildup. Alright. So now we're gonna pull out our poison moss and we're gonna go this way. Fading soul, not useful. I think that there's a large titanite. Oh, there's a chunk there. Fading soul. Fading soul. Okay, so I'm going to use my green herb, my poison moss, I mean. And then. An Estus flash shard. I mean, Estus flash, whatever, you know what I mean. A torch. I hear. Oh, that's Gavlon. I was like, what is that noise? She's just Gavilan enjoying whatever it is he's drinking. Just makes a really loud glug noise. He's enjoying that drink very much. He's, he's just like, gloop, gloop, gloop. Y'all hear it. Alright. I'm a bit over time, so I'm just going to unlock the next bonfire. And then say goodbye to everybody. This is the first video I'm recording for the day, so it's okay if it's a little bit long. That's why I usually come back rusty, is I never make note of when I start my recording sessions. But I do record like four videos, four or five videos at a time, and then just not play for a week. So... I always come back slightly rusty. Okay, everybody. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the show.